die. Let me die. place you want. Got the day off. Yeah? Hey, let's go to the amusement park. I love scary rides. I was a kid and I hated them when I was a kid. Scared, huh? <laughs> They got frozen bananas. Frozen bananas? I'll tell you, terror does a lot for your appetite. Terror? Me? I used to ride those things ten times a day when I was a kid. Well, let's go back on it again. Sure. When hell freezes over. <laughs> All right, that's a deal. Come on, I'll buy you a frozen banana. <laughs> balloons here. We got balloons. Get your balloons. Why does the school would like a balloon, please? A red one, please. 75 cents. A red balloon for the little one. There we are. Balloon. Oh, my God. I want Get your balloon. Nice. Give me my balloon. Don't cry. I'll get you another one, OK? <laughs> one green balloon. There you are. Thank you. Balloons here. We got balloons. Balloon? This one broke. Seventy-five cents. That was my whole allowance. That's life, kids. Please. These things don't come with any warranty. No money, no balloons. We got balloons here. Get your balloon. We got balloons. Here your balloons here. I'm sorry, Mark. Balloons 
here. We got balloons. Get your helium balloons. Take it home for the kiddies. We got balloons here. You Let's get another balloon. Helium balloons. From your mouth to God's ears. Hey, it's the little girl that just walked away. Go on. I gotta see that. <laughs> Jonathan, that's my friend Mark. I tell you what, we're gonna take you to a place where you can find your mom. No, I'm not so supposed to go with strangers. Good girl. You're a big help, you know that? I'll have this. You? I may be a mere mortal, but I'm also a former cop. Now, excuse me. You're my guest. Hi. I'm not going anywhere with you either. Go away. Oh, I don't want you to go anywhere. Promise? Cross my heart. Hey, that's a fine looking lion you got there. What's his name? Leo. Leo. That's a wonderful name for a lion. This is Sarah. What's your mommy's name? Mommy. Well, what does your daddy call your mom? Dear. Her mother's name, Evan. Do you mind? What what is your mommy's friends call? Nancy. And what do your friends call your mom? Mrs. Barrett. Good girl. Now listen, Sarah, if you'll stay here with my friend Jonathan, I'll go find your mommy, okay? I'll be right back. You don't mind babysitting, do you? You're the boss, you're the boss. Attention, please. Would Nancy Barrett report to the security office by the main gate? Your little girl has been located. Nancy Barrett, report to the security office, please. Sarah, take a look. Thank you. I was getting pretty frantic. My pleasure, ma'am. What can you say, young lady? Thank you. <laughs> You're an angel. You're mighty lucky, young lady. If your father was with us today, he'd be in for it. Are you gonna tell him? what she called me? No, what? She called me an angel. Well, what does she know? We gotta go. Drivers are the scum of the earth. You know what I'd do with them if I were God? Oh, what? I'm sure he's always open to suggestions. Probably wouldn't like it. He's probably too merciful. Uh, I don't know. It all depends how upset he gets. Well, I would lock him up and I'd throw away the keys. They don't deserve a second chance. Amen to that. <laughs> Leave it, guys. All of them. Hey, Jonathan, look at that.
let's keep going. There's nothing we can do here. What? Come on, let's go. You're an angel. You're supposed to help people. Will you listen to me? Listen, I don't care what you do, but I'm going to see if I can help them. He pulled out in front of me. I, I, I tried to swerve. You got a jeep? Yeah, he, he never even stopped. <laughs> okay. Just try to be still, ma'am. We've got the paramedics on the way. Sarah, where's my Sarah? My baby. I want my baby. My baby. Please, ma'am, take it easy. My baby! My baby! My baby! My baby! My baby! She could have had a chance if she'd had her seat belt on. Shame. for a while. Look, uh, Bunny, I know how you're feeling. No, you don't. I killed that little girl. What are you talking about? If I hadn't bothered her, she'd be alive now. Her mother would have found her eventually. They'd left the park later. They'd be home now. Mark, there's no way in the world you could have known what was going to happen to that girl. You can't see into the future. Never would have happened if I'd have let you handle it. Oh, that's not true. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I do know it. Mr. Know-it-all was going to show an angel how it's done. Well, it's done all right. So get out, will you? What for? End of the road for you and me. Mark, don't do this to yourself. You had no way of knowing what was going to happen to that girl, neither did I. Don't spare me, will you? I know what I'm doing. Jonathan, you'll be better off without me. Please get out. Mark, you're making a mistake. No. Oh, no. I made that this afternoon. Oh, please get out. Goodbye. Bye.
not supposed to go with strangers. No, not supposed to go with strangers. What do you say, young lady? Thank you. <laughs> You're an angel. What do you say, young lady? Thank you. <laughs> You're an angel. You're an angel. You're an angel. My baby. I want my baby. My baby. My baby. My baby. No. My baby. Thank you. other news, charges of felony drunk driving have been filed following yesterday's fatal accident on Highway 421. What can I get you? The only gas station in town. Sure is Bob Miles' place. But today's Wednesday. Bob always takes Wednesday off. Another gas station I can walk to? Uh, Jim Copley over in uh, Spiffy Corners, about five miles west. Thanks. Ah, but he's closed on Wednesday. <laughs> They're uh, fishing partners. Doesn't anybody want to make a living around here? Well, since the turnpike went in, we don't get much trade during the week. The, all the traffic just sort of passes us by. Whose brilliant idea was that? Oh, it's not so bad. I kind of like it quiet. Yeah, but it doesn't help me get any gas. Uh, we got some nice roast chickens if you're hungry. No, I never eat on Wednesdays. <laughs> uh, that'll be 525. There a place around here I can get a room? Down the block, other side of the street. Thank you. You back. Residents of the area held a town meeting last night to formally protest the proposed plan. They feel the. You're looking at her. No luggage? I'll only be here a day. Who is it, Wendy Ann? Grandma, it's okay. We got a boarder. I'm Wendy Ann Ward. Mark Gordon. Welcome to our home, Mr. Gordon. Come on. We've got only three rules. No loud music, no pets, and $25 a day. But that includes dinner. Um, we eat kind of late. Because my ma works until eight. Our best room. Fine. You sure you don't want to stay longer than a day? I'm a great cook. No, I uh, have to be somewhere. Oh, well, where are you heading? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, well, excuse me. My brother is calling.
Jonathan. Jonathan, I know you're here. Show yourself. Because I meant what I said last night. I'm on my own from now on. You hear me? Jonathan? Jonathan! Mr. Gordon? You all right? Oh, yeah, I, uh... I was just talking to myself. Stupid habit. It's okay. I do it all the time. See you at dinner. I must say your daughter keeps a neat house. I know. Besides taking care of her baby brother and keeping an eye on Mom here. I don't know what we'd do without her. We wouldn't make it. Don't mind my saying so. She seems kind of young for such heavy responsibility. Oh, I wish it didn't have to be that way. We just don't have any choice. She comes home right after school so I can get to the mill by two, and then Tom goes to graduate school over at Trinity. Trinity? That's 40 miles away. <laughs> yes. I know every bump in the road. What are you studying? Theology. I'm going to be a minister. Mom, can I call Sarah? Do you have homework? Yes, ma'am, but I only talked for a few minutes. I tried to call yesterday, but there was no answer. All right, but don't talk too long. I won't. That friend wouldn't be Sarah Barrett by any chance. Yes, they're best friends. Do you know the Barretts? Um, I met them once. Um, Dad, they want to talk to you. Wasn't Sarah home, honey? Well, I don't know. They acted real funny when I asked for her. Maybe she's sick or something. Oh, I hope it isn't anything catchy. Oh, Mr. Gordon here knows the Barretts. No, I... not really. Michelle, we have to go to the Barretts now. What's wrong? I'll explain on the way. Matthew can come with us. All right. Come on, baby. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Can I go? No, you can't. Wait in the car now. I'm sorry, Wendy Ann. This is a grown up thing. Sarah isn't there anyway. Where is she? She's away. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Now, I want you to be a good girl and go to bed early tonight. Wish I could have gone. Sarah went to the amusement park yesterday. She said she'd tell me all about the roller coaster and stuff. Have you ever been to the park? Yeah, I was there. Did you ride the roller coaster? Was it scary? Excuse me. Did I say something wrong? I don't think so, dear. Mr. Gordon? Yeah? Do you need anything before I go to bed tonight? No, nothing. Um, our furnace is broken, so this heater will have to do. All right. Well, I'm sorry it's so noisy. I said it's fine. Good night, then.
corner. You got three inside. Mark, when the end? Mark, are they with you? Dead. What about the fire? About Wendy Ann? What happened to her? Nothing yet. Yeah, what are you talking about? What's going on? I'm not sure yet. It's the boss's idea. You see, he's decided to let you play God for a while. Play God? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, all the times you've said, oh, if I were God, I'd do so and so and such and such. Well, now's your chance. On. Test it out. What would you like to change? If I were God, I'd, I'd put flowers where those rocks are. So be it. Say is what I want is done. That's right. Okay. I want all my mistakes erased, like they never happened. Preemptive redemption. The what? That's a technical term. Anything else? Every time that I said God should do something, or God, I wish it was like this, I want all that done. It's done? That all? Yeah, that's it. Well, you can follow me. Your very own world works. Come on. This traffic. I mean, this town was dead. Yeah, there's no turnpike. You didn't want it, remember? That's right. I remember that. John, look at that. Open 24 hours. Now, only God can know I wish for that. And it's done. <laughs> One, 
two, three, four, and four. Ten. Nine. Hey, I'm taking off to go fishing anymore, huh? What are you talking to me? Yeah, aren't you the guy who always went fishing on Wednesday? No, you must be talking about Bob Miles. Oh, Bob, Bob, right? That, that, that's his name. Yeah, he died a while back. He tried to do too much, too many hours. Doctor told him to slow down, but um, I keep this place going 24 hours a day. Finally killed him. Take a look at the rest of your work. Hey, anybody here? Good morning. Need a room? Yeah, where's the little girl that runs this place? Oh, you must have the wrong address. Well, Wendy Ann, where's Wendy Ann? Oh, you mean Miss Ward. Loretta! I told you I wanted my yellow dress iron. Not my blue one. I'm sorry. You're so stupid. What do you want? You don't know me? Should I? No, I guess not. You want a room? No. Then we're busy. Don't just stand there. Get in here and iron the dress. Next time I tell you to do something, listen to me. She's the same girl. What happened? That you were the one who thought it was unfair for her to have to work so hard. In your world, she didn't have to. I didn't like seeing her take care of that whole house. I didn't mean to change her like that. But Wendy thrived on helping her family. You took away her opportunity to feel really needed. That's the result. All right, so everything isn't perfect. But at least she didn't die in a fire, and the other little girl didn't die in a car accident. Now, come on, John, I want to see Sarah. doing here? I told you I want to see Sarah. And you will. We're here. Mistakes were erased. You told me they were erased. You lied to me! No, I didn't. All right, then he lied to me! You promised me that all my mistakes were erased! But they're not! They're not! I want you to bring this girl back to life. Bring her back! Bring her back! Why did he lie to me? He didn't. You see, what happened to Sarah wasn't one of your mistakes. It had nothing to do with you. It had to do with a drunken man behind the wheel of a car. Mark, you weren't responsible for what happened to her. No matter what you did or didn't do, she'd still be gone. Why didn't you tell me? I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. You had to see for yourself. But if you let her die, if you let it happen, 
he didn't. It happened because people don't listen or they don't care. A drunk behind the wheel of a car, a child without a seatbelt, you can't call that God's will. And you can't turn away from him because you feel guilt or sorrow or because you just don't understand. You have to fight to make a difference in this world. You can't give up. Mark, all of us are responsible for the world around us. But please don't give up. I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up. Get these burns taken care of. Oh, wait. Girl, she's gonna be okay. Come on, let's get you to a hospital. fine now, just you know, a little itchy. Said I can get out of here tomorrow. We don't know how to thank you. Yeah, well, don't. I don't deserve it. It's my fault that fire started in the first place. Heater was making noise, I lost my temper, kicked it over. And the whole thing is my fault. Well, just so you know, heater was broken. It's supposed to shut itself off if it falls. I knew it was broken, I didn't replace it. So I'm just as guilty. Well, guess you couldn't call it God's will. Our insurance guy says we're in good shape, though, so don't worry about that. Just please accept our thanks. You have a wonderful girl here. So happy you're all right. By the way, I ran into a friend of yours in town. You what? Yeah, his name's, um, Jonathan. Jonathan? No, be... Jonathan. Hey, look, I, I gotta get out of here. Tom, could you drive me into town? Sure, if they'll let you out today. Well, they'll let me out, don't worry. Come on. <laughs> Hey, stop! Don't you ever change, young lady. It's people like you who make a difference. What? You'll know what I'm talking about someday. God bless you all. Goodbye.
Bob, how you doing? Well, fine, just fine. Do I know you? Well, you do now. My name's Mark. Pleased to meet you. How you doing, buddy? Jonathan. Well, there you go. You're all filled up. Twenty dollars even. There you go. Thank you. you. know, you're lucky I was open today. I'm usually closed on Wednesdays. Hey, you haven't quit going fishing, have you? <laughs> you must know me from somewhere. <laughs> no, I just couldn't wait. They've been biting so good this week that I went on Tuesday. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear that. We'll see you again, Bob. You bet. Drive careful now. Thank you. Didn't think I was going to see you again. Where you been? To see Sarah. Sarah Barrett? She alive? No. But she's doing great. We'll probably see her along the way. Let's go. Hey, you sure you can drive with those hands? You kidding? Racing gloves. Let's go. We got another assignment. 